The third hedging strategy that we have available for foreign currency receivable is options market hedge. This involves borrowing dollars today and buying put options on pounds. Then in one year's time, depending on the spot exchange rate at the time, we will either uh, sell our pounds um, at the spot rate or we will exercise the put option and sell our pounds at the strike or uh, exercise price at the time. So we will obviously choose an option that is more beneficial for us. So let's break it down. So let's take a look at the numbers. So cash flow today would look like this. You will borrow $15,000 today, which is the amount you need to buy uh, put options on 100,000 pounds. So you will borrow $15,000 today in the US at the US interest rate of 5%. Then you will use those $15,000 to buy put options on 100,000 pounds. And the net effect today is zero net cash flow. So a year goes by, you will receive your 100,000 pound payment from the UK buyer. So remember, this is for your sale of soybeans. Now, once you have received your 100,000 pounds, you will be selling your 100,000 pounds. But whether you will sell it at the spot rate at the time or whether you will exercise your option will depend on what the future spot rate happens to be at the time. So if in the future spot rate happens to be uh, lower than $1.50, then you will choose to exercise your option and sell your pounds at the strike price of $1.50. Because obviously you would prefer to sell your pounds for $1.50 rather than say $1.30 or $1.20 or $1.10, which happens to be the future spot rate at the time. In that case, you will be receiving $150,000. But if in the future, if spot rate happens to be greater than $1.50, say it is um, $1.60 or $1.70, then you will not exercise your contract and instead you will choose to sell your pounds at the future spot rate um, which happens to be higher than $1.50 and then you will receive more than $150,000. So for example if future spot rate happens to be $1.60 at the time you would obviously not exercise your option and, uh, and go to the spot market directly and sell your pounds for $1.60 which means you will receive $160,000. And of course, you have to pay off your dollar loan. Remember, you borrowed $15,000 in order to buy these put options. So at the interest rate of 5%, you will have to make a payment of $15,750 for that loan. So the net effect is that once you take all of this into account, the net effect is $134,250 or more. So remember with options, it's not a single number, it's actually a range of numbers. So 134,250 is actually the guaranteed minimum dollar proceeds you will receive regardless of the future spot exchange rate. But depending on the future spot exchange actual exchange rate, it, the, the dollar proceeds could actually be higher uh, than 134,250. So the advantage of options is that it provides a flexible hedge against the downside, but it preserves your upside potential. So you will you have locked in some minimum of floor uh, amount of dollar proceeds but depending on the future exchange rate you could actually receive more dollars um, than this number